Hey everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. I am Lori, I am a fashion reseller on Poshmark and on eBay, and it has really been a while. Gosh, um, it is New Year's Eve, I'm filming this, so you will either see this tonight or tomorrow on New Year's Day, but I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas season and a happy Hanukkah. And I hope everyone is geared up for 2020. I know that I am. Um, it has been quite a challenge for me working from home with um, my whole family home. My son's home from college. My husband always takes this week off from work. We have a full house. We have tons of friends in and out and I wouldn't have it any other way. But I will say that I pretty much worked my December business part-time um, and I wasn't anticipating that I would but when the holiday crunch came in I just kind of had to pull it back a little and I guess that's the beauty of this job I was happy to do that um, but I have a quick haul for you today and a couple of announcements to make I really just wanted to check in before the year came to a close hopefully I can edit this and you'll see it tonight otherwise tomorrow um, but I wanted to thank everybody who has tuned in to my new podcast. Um, my partner, Daniela, who is Ivy and Blush on Instagram and I, we started a podcast called Thrifters Villa and it launched yesterday, a piece of hair, um, on December 30th. And everyone's been so supportive and sharing the announcement and tuning in and sending us messages. And yesterday's podcast was just an introduction where we kind of give a little bit of background on ourselves. If you want to get to know us more, that's a great way to find out more about our history and how we started reselling. And then we kind of start our conversation and we've already recorded our second podcast and we'll be recording our third one tomorrow. So we will release um, our podcast every Monday morning. Again, the name is Thrifters Villa. We are available on Spotify and on Apple and we record it on Anchor. So you can link in my bio and uh, you can go ahead and subscribe if you are interested. And also we do have an Instagram page. So it's just at Thrifters Villa. So I'll link everything below so that if you are interested, you can go check it out and just wanted to say thank you in advance to everyone who has already supported us. And we look forward to many conversations with you. Um, so that's that. Um, I, I've talked in my past few videos about doing a review on a printer um, that I'm partnering with another company. I'm just waiting to hear back from them because I'm going to be able to offer some sort of a discount. So that's kind of been put on hold. And then this morning, I downloaded um, a new dashboard by Sarah Styles LLC. And I'm going to be working with Sarah on a video um, where I'm just going to give an honest review of her program. She sells her dashboards on Etsy and she also has an Instagram page. So I will also link her below. I feel like I have so much to get caught up with for, with everybody. Um, so yeah, that has been really eye opening. Um, her inventory dashboard tells you, um, you know, all sorts of stats like your top selling brand and how long your inventory has been sitting and what your best selling category is in your sell through rate. I mean, I woke up at 530 this morning, like a little kid, like so excited to just wake up with a quiet house and download everything while everybody was asleep and I was playing with it all morning. So I'm really excited for that video. And Daniela and um, Sarah will be going live on Sarah's Instagram. So that I believe is Thursday. So that would be the day after the first. So January 2nd, I believe she is going live. And then I'm going to release my video shortly after that. A lot of things coming up in the new year. I am going to hopefully be vlogging a lot in January. And um, so vlog style, I'm looking forward to doing some sourcing with you. And then in February, I'm going to try something new that I will announce later. But anyways, that is kind of my quick update or not so quick update, my five minute update. Um, I am just going to show you a haul. I have a little bit of retail arbitrage, just like one, one thing, well, one type of thing from one store. And then I have two different hauls from Savers. So a good old fashioned haul to share with you. 
Um, right before the holidays, I did my thrift and gift video where I showed you holiday boxes that I was putting together for each one of my children and they loved them. It was actually a real highlight on Christmas morning to see them so excited about items that I had thrifted. Um, when Rocco opened his Timberlands, uh, he was super excited and Angelina got Lululemon and Gymshark leggings and my son Anthony got some stuff from Levi's and they were just all brand names that I was able to find for each of my kids and each one of their holiday boxes was under $30. So if you wanna see that video, you can go ahead and, I don't know how to link it up here yet, I'm working on that, but um, you can check back and see that. So here we go. I'm gonna get started with the thrift. So some of these things I bought on that same trip that I bought for my thrift and gift for my kids and some I just picked up the other day, yesterday. Okay, so let's get started. A um, Couple new brands, which I always love to share with you and I'm always excited when I find them too. But I found this brand, Pam and Gella. There is the label. Uh, it's this beautiful scoop neck eye cat pattern sweatshirt with dolman sleeves absolutely beautiful and it just has some really subtle well not so subtle right there but it has some pretty black sequins detail and it's just besides that one big section it's kind of scattered throughout on the sweatshirt like in little sections so this is really beautiful retails for over a hundred dollars this is a size large um my daughter, I was fortunate enough to get her to do some modeling for me with her friend Sasha. So Angie modeled this for me. Angie's a size small, but it also fits me differently, but it's a really great sweatshirt. You can see the sparkle when I do that. Um, and I got this at Savers. I don't have the price on it. I think it was $6.50. Um, so always when I go to Savers, I have a 20% off coupon or I do 50% off sale. So this was 20% off, but then I went yesterday and I almost like, I was so frustrated, I almost put back my whole order because I literally don't shop at Savers unless I have a coupon. And I got to the register, thought I had a coupon saved because I'm like a member and I thought I had a 20% off coupon and I didn't. So some of these things you're gonna see, I paid full Savers price, which is no bueno. Like I don't like doing that at all because their prices are kind of high. But I think I'm gonna keep this stuff. You let me know if you think they're worth keeping. <laughs> um, anyways, that was 20% off. And then I'm just gonna pop up here real quick um, I found this cinchilla coming off the rack. I don't think I've shown this yet. I'm a little, I'm a little discombobulated now, but this Patagonia, I believe was $7.99 and it was 20% off. And Sasha was kind enough to model this for me. Um, and this particular piece sold in like eight or nine hours. So that sold right away in a bundle. Um, so I don't have that to show you but I'm gonna show you some of the other things I picked up. I got these little wedges, which I absolutely like. Um, I got these for style and for brand, but they are, uh, they almost like are like a, almost like a felt or like a micro suede wedge heel, absolutely adorable. And the brand, they were $5.49, and then I did get 20% off of these. And these are Vera Wang Lavender line, which is one of, you know, it is a division, but it is a higher, it's not like Simply Vera from Kohl's. Um, and the comps on this were slightly all over the place, but um, you know, I paid under $5 and I'm pretty confident I can get around $30 for these. I saw a couple in the $35 range, I saw some in like the $20 range, but I'm gonna aim high. Um, and I probably think I have these listed for 35 right now in my closet. So these are seven and a half medium. So voila, those are super pretty. Um, I found this, this was really cute. It's just a We The Free, but it was marked $3.99 at Savers, plus I had the 20% off. It's a medium, very oversized. Sasha modeled this for me too, so I can, um, I can put a picture up in this. Um, I can't remember the name of this, but it has these like camo sleeves, and it's just this kind of light faded coral color. There's a little bit of wash wear on the sleeves, but it really goes with the whole um, vibe of free people. So like I said, this is a medium. Sasha's probably an extra small. It fit me, I'm a large, extra large. These pieces can, these are really versatile pieces because they can fit such a range of sizes depending on how you want it. One of the other pieces that I bought the other day, but I've already packaged it up, um, is this Burberry Brit. Um, this was in, coming on a new rack. It was marked $17, $17, but I did get 20% off, but it's a Burberry Brit 
button down in navy blue and I will put a picture up here for you. It's absolutely beautiful. I do have it listed right now. Um, I think I have it listed at 85, which is pretty high, but I'll definitely take offers on it. Um, I didn't run comps on it, so I just priced it high just from the get-go, um, but it's actually beautiful quality and somewhat tempted to list it in the women's department because Sasha looked so cute in it, um, but it is in fact a men's shirt. So I'm going to try it over there um, for a while and see how that goes, but really cute Burberry. I picked this Lucky brand coat up. Um, mostly I liked the style. It is a size medium. Usually I like Lucky brand things with, um, more embellishments, but I did like the style of this. It has the snap detail right here, just like a good, kind of has a lagging look more than a bohemian look in my opinion, but really I picked it up for the price. A lot of the sweatshirts, so this is $2.99 plus 20% off. Um, so we're talking $2.40 for this jacket. Um, very nice, Lucky Brand. Um, when I did do my analytics with um, Sarah, I did realize that Lucky Brand is one of my top five selling brands. So um, I'm happy that I picked this up to offer it in my closet. I haven't I haven't um, listed this yet, but I'll probably list it between $25 and $35. I haven't looked at comps, so we'll see about that. This piece I just got based on style, um, but the comps were pretty decent on this and I adore this dress. And this is gonna be hard from where I'm sitting. This was a new brand to me, Rana Gill, Rana Gill. I wanna say this might be an anthropology piece, but I'm not positive or a brand that has sold that anthropology, but you might wanna look that up. But the embroidery, uh, this fits me. I love it, I love it so much. Um, and with the tan, it would just be gorgeous in the summer. Like, look at this embroidery on the sleeves. And then this like detail lace, it's getting a little dark in my room. Um, but anyways, it has this really interesting cut too, where it's pleated just on the side. So it's not like an A-line. I'm gonna hold it up this way to see how much you can see of it. But it's just an absolute beautiful piece. It has like a split neck. Could not find a size tag on or a care tag on, but this is definitely like a large, extra large, midi length dress and it's just beautiful. So I was really excited to find this. This I think was priced $11.49 before the 20% off. Still liked it, still grabbed it. Can't remember if I've shown you this already. I don't think so. These are just, I don't know what it was about these. I liked them. They were just lounge pants. I think I got this. Something tells me it's on a half off day, but anyways, they were $2.99. They're Victoria's Secret. They actually give me anthropology vibes. They have really, they, they feel more bohemian. Um, they have this really pretty lace detail on the waist. And I just thought, darn, these are really pretty just for like lounging around the house and like uh, you can picture someone like with a fitted white t-shirt just kind of hanging out with like a cozy barefoot dreams. Isn't that a fun look? Anyways, really pretty wide leg. Um, might have these listed, probably around $20, $25 for those. Um, I picked up these shoes. I wouldn't call it a fail, but um, I heard this name. I'd never picked this up before, but it's Catherine Melandrino. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this brand and I really loved the shoe. It almost looks like a Gucci knockoff is what they're trying to do here. Um, but with like the horse bit here, uh, $8.50 was the price tag, which is high for these, 20% off. So I still paid over $6 for these. They're this really pretty nude and the comps were not tremendous, but um, I'm hoping to recoup and maybe get between $25 and $30 for these, but I can't really be too sure. Um, but really pretty shoe, really beautiful, and these are all man-made, so they're not leather, and they are a size eight and a half. Jay just got home, so Lulu wants to greet him. They are an eight and a half. I would say they run slightly small. The next item I found I was really excited about because I was in the men's section, and um, I found these Madewell jeans which were not men's, um, but they were made well, size 31, nine inch high rise, skinny, skinny, in black in a size 31. So that is like a size 12. They have the skinny leg. I mean, these jeans are in high demand. Um, they're already getting a lot of attention. I have them listed for $65 in my closet. This is my size. Um, what's funny about these was when I measured, they, they're called the nine inch, the nine inch high rise. Um, but when I measured, it was like, almost 10 and three quarters. So I don't know if because it's a bigger size, you just get more rise in it. You know, they kind of make the adjustment for the size. But anyways, this was higher than a nine, nine inch rise, definitely. But really great condition. 
And best off, they were marked $6.49. And if you know Savers prices, a lot of times their jeans are $9.49, $10.49. Lucky jeans are like $12.99 sometimes. So to find Madewell in such great condition, in such a great size and style in the men's department for $6.49 and then get them under $5, I was really happy. They probably cost exactly five. So those are currently listed in my closet. Day when I was shopping for the holiday boxes, it was December 23rd. The store was quiet. It was really well stocked. I was at the Savers in Natick. Um, and I was in a bit of a hurry because it was December 23rd and I was thinking of all the things that I needed to do. So I was grabbing things. So I grabbed this. It's mar It's free people. Um, it was $10.99. It is a denim vest. So maybe, um, did I look at the comps? I don't know that I did, but they have all this studded detail here. And here's my issue with it is that the collar has some discoloration. See the yellow there? So I don't know if it's part of the look. It, it may very well be, but I don't love that it's discolored. Um, but it is a size large, which is great. So $10.99 with 20%, it costs like $9.50. Kind of a cool piece. I love that. So we'll see. We'll see how that does. I don't have it listed yet, but I'm thinking probably around $40. I'll list that and see how it goes um, for the Free People denim vest. Um, I'm kind of jumping around now. These are going to be things that I picked up yesterday. Okay, this piece is kind of outrageous, but I kind of loved it too. It looks like it's never been washed, so it's in really good condition. It is a Zara piece, and it is a size large. And it is this incredible, it's just a sweatshirt. That's just fuzz right there, I think. No, I don't know. Probably, I don't know. A little fuzzy right there. It's in really great condition. I tried this on and I kind of loved it. If you're from our area and you are a Boston Bruins fan, these are Bruins colors all the way, the black, the gold, and the cream or the white. And it's just a sweatshirt. So I'm gonna stay back here so you can see it. And it is just really phenomenal. Um, so this was $7.50, no 20%, much to my chagrin. I was really mad about that at the register. But anyways, really cute piece. Haven't done comps on this, but just at a glance, I'm thinking like 30, 35, because it's pretty, it's pretty fun. It's unique. I, I don't know if it's unique to Poshmark, if there are a thousand of these listed, but I thought it was really, really fun, really cozy, generous cut. Again, one of those styles that I think would look great on someone who's little framed with like a big slouchy look to it or somebody like me who's like a size 12, 14. It was really cute on me too. So I was happy about that. Um, I went back and forth on this. This is definitely one I probably wouldn't have gotten had I known I wasn't gonna get my discount at the register, but it is a beautiful quality piece. I have I have listed a couple Orvis pieces, but um, I don't know that any of them have sold, to be honest. Maybe one men's piece has sold. I think I had a men's like quarter zip that sold. This is in the women's department. I'm not certain it's women's. Uh, let's see. It just says extra small. So I don't know. This doesn't look like a women's extra small, so maybe it's a men's. But I really do like it. It's like a Sherpa vest, and it is leather lined, and it's really pretty. So it's navy with like... Um, with like that camel colored leather, or maybe it's pleather. Let's see if we can find out together. You ready for my grandma glasses? What do you think? <laughs> I cannot see. I cannot see one bit. These are trim, is 100% leather. Look at that, leather. You saw it here, folks. Yep, really beautiful. Now I'm glad I picked it up. So leather, Sherpa, vest. Classic, beautiful, 35, 40 bucks. We'll see. These I was really happy to find. These were in really good condition. The new year is upon us. We have all sorts of resolutions coming our way. So I found these Lululemon leggings and they were marked $3.29. I don't understand their pricing sometimes, but I was not complaining about this. Most often, their leggings are priced at $7.99. Now, maybe it's because they were these were cropped that they marked them less. And they have a little bit of pilling. I'm probably gonna hit like the inside thigh with my sweater shaver, but really these are in good condition. And best of all, they're a size 12. So a nice larger size for Lululemon, probably list those between 35 and $40. Um, so I was really happy about these. 
Um, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but if there's anything you would like from my closet or, or from this haul, you can send me a direct message on Instagram at Lori's Boston Found with no apostrophe, or a lot of these things that are already in my Poshmark closet, it's best if you just purchase them through Poshmark. Once they go on Poshmark, I just kind of leave them there. If you happen to catch me before it goes on Poshmark, we can do a direct sale um, through PayPal and I can probably offer a little bit more of a savings. And if you want to reach me via email, my email is down below, but it is uh, lauritata1973 at gmail.com. So when you um, message me, maybe put like um, YouTube haul in the subject line because I've missed a few messages from people because I get a lot of notifications on my Gmail account and I've missed a few people who have asked about items. But if I search YouTube haul, that might be helpful to me and then I'll know that somebody wants something from my haul. We'll try that and see how it works. But anyways, these are size 12. That was great. I bought this yesterday. Sometimes if I'm not sure about a thing, I try to think of, um, if I'm not sure about a price, uh, and I'm gonna talk about this with retail arbitrage, I try to say to myself, well, if I don't resell it, I'll wear it, Angelina will wear it, one of my kids, a friend, something like that. So this, I have a lot of luck with Aerie, and this sweater is absolutely beautiful, and it is new with tag. However, it was $8.49. Probably wouldn't have paid that if I didn't my coupon, um, but it's so beautiful. It is a size medium, again, an oversized fit. It's just a cream colored mock neck with this little bit of detail right there. Just so beautiful. Um, just a beautiful winter white classic sweater. Um, I love selling airy sweaters. Airy is the loungewear um, or like easy living line to American Eagle. And uh, I really love their sweaters and their cozy wear. So this I just wanted to share with you because I'm curious if you pick up Champion. Um, I like to pick up primarily only the reverse weave because I believe it was like Kmart or Walmart had like a division of Champion, but as you know, they're making a big comeback. The reverse weave is like what I wore as a kid, um, that really heavy sweatshirt material. This is not reverse weave, but my kids love Champion, all three of them across the board, girls, boys. Um, so Angelina claimed this. It's just a very basic. So if I, if I find one that has this C on it, I will usually go for it. If it just has, if it's like a nylon shirt that has like the silk screen C, it's a pass for me. But any, a lot of the college sweatshirts I love to pick up that have the C here, I will grab. And of course, um, the C here with the reverse weave, I think is the ultimate pickup, but the spell out here in like, just like a basic gray, Angie loved this. And then I also picked up a pair of sweatpants, very similar to this, it's on my story right now, um, with a cinched waist that Rocco got, which were great because he they have like a nice tie waist. And um, so he grabbed those, Angie grabbed these, and Anthony didn't even see them. So he didn't even have a say on whether he wanted one. Um, this I picked up on style. I was shopping with my girlfriend and she said, Lori, this looks like your style. And she was right. So the brand is Scrapbook Originals. I've never sold anything by Scrapbook Originals. This is, they have a really lovely tag. Um, and again, it has this like floral, it, it, I, I think it's like a lag and look um, slash boho feel, which I love. Um, so the sleeves are extended. They're like layered and then a little slightly ruched here. And then it's lined with this beautiful floral pattern as you can see, um, and I think it's a little bit of like a waterfall in the front, you know, it's like open here. There's no closure in the front, but then the back I wanted to also show, the back detail is really pretty too. So it's pleated right here in the back and it, almost like a peplum feel in the back. So really pretty, $3.99, no discount. Very cute, no idea. Thinking between 20 and 30, we'll have to see. This sweater I picked up uh, as a thank you, well, not as a thank you, but as a result of um, my holiday box swap with Courtney from Common Tags. She sent me a COS, a COS sweater, um, a dress in my box, and I actually modeled it um, because it was just like a basic navy and it was really beautiful quality. 
but um, pictures of it just weren't doing it justice. So I tried it on, I loved it. And Courtney said this is a brand she loves to pick up and sells, and I had never found it before. So there is the label, um, COS, and this feels like it is a wool blend. This is just a black duster. So nice long sleeves, and I'm gonna scooch back here. Just a very basic black, total classic cardigan duster, really nice. I mean, if I stand up, this probably goes right to my knee. So not quite a duster, but like kind of that longer length. And I'm just trying to get the fabric content for you. It's a medium, and I would definitely say would fit up to a large. Let's see if I can read this without my glasses. Let's see if my old eyes are working here. Yes, we are a combination of mohair, nylon, and wool. See that? Aren't you proud of me? Didn't need my glasses. <laughs> so yeah, this is a wool blend, wool, mohair, very pretty, nice quality, probably around 40 or 50 for that one, um, just because of the length and the fabric content. I picked up these Lucky Boots. They were marked $10.99 at Savers. This was no coupon, but they were in really good condition. Hoping to get like 35 or $40 for these. And size, I am not so sure. Let me see here. We are looking at a size 10. Size 10 brown suede Lucky Brand boots. And I don't know the actual name of those. Um, did I show this in my last haul? I'm gonna show you again. I got this great Beyonce t-shirt. It just came out of the wash. That's why I'm not sure if I showed it. I think I may have, but it's the Formation World Tour. Really cute t-shirt. I think I did show that. All right, bought this yesterday. These are definitely going back. These were something I paid up for. Um, they were new with tag, these Puma velvet pants. Uh, they were $13 and I had no reception at the time when I was trying to run comps. I actually happen to love these. And if I had the right body, I would love these, but um, brought them home. They have a little Puma sign right here. Kind of a Kardashian vibe to them. Anyways, you ready for this price tag without my coupon? Bam. Yeah, this has to go back. This is just no, no. Um, really cute. This would have been great on like a half off day, but I got home and the comps were bad. They, they weren't even like all over the place. They were just straight up bad. <laughs> um, for what I paid, for what I paid. This would have been a tremendous pickup at the bins. I would have been really excited. Um, but I want to say the average selling price on these was between $20 and $23. So paying $13.49, that is just not worth my time. I could take this back on a sale day and get like two or three really nice pieces for that money. So that is going back, but I want to share that with you. And um, one more thing to share before I move on to my retail arbitrage. This was $20.00 but I love it. And maybe it's the little Ginzo Italian in me, but I'll tell you, so beautiful. Okay, ready? I see it's just a leather coat. I think I need to move back for this. So it's got this real fur collar and it has this felt layer and then a lace layer, but this, this feels like suede or like a micro suede and then a sweater fabric and then this fur. And it goes around. I'm not. Even, I won't even be able to button this because it is very small for me. But it is from Italy. Um, it's lined with this beautiful liner. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show it to you in parts, and then like push back and show you. I probably should sit further away, but I really like to show you detail, and I like to show you labels, and I think people appreciate that. So um, the trade-off is that I don't always get the full view, or I have to move for the full view. These are the sleeves, so they bell out just a little bit. Um, and then the button detail, it's snap detail. So I'm gonna snap this so that when I show it, oh, I wanna show the label. I looked this up online. The resale isn't great for this, but this piece I really believe in. So the brand is David II Leather Factory, Florence, Italy. And as you know, my family traveled to, or you may or may not know, depending on when you started watching me, but my son studied in Florence over the summer. So we stayed in Florence. So when I saw that this was made at a shop there and I went online and there were all these great reviews saying that this particular shop was like great value for handmade leather pieces and great quality, great customer service. So here's the label. And it is David II Leather Factory, Florence, Italy. So it's a size 46 European. 
Um, my daughter's a size four and tried it on, fit her beautiful. I'm gonna definitely have her model this because it's just so pretty. So um, I'm not anticipating this will sell right away. I am definitely going to list this both on eBay and on Poshmark. But if anybody wants a really nice leather jacket, I think I'm gonna start it around 159 and 169 and see how it does. Um, but it is a really special piece and the quality is gorgeous. So let me just show you. So here we go. And there's the bottom. So it almost has like, oh, and it's also belted. There's the belt is like that suede fabric. I don't know. Is it just the Italian to me that thinks this is really special or do you think it's really special too? Because <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Definitely for a specific buyer. This is not like your average like, jacket that everyone's going to want, but someone is going to love this. And I have a really, really good friend who will absolutely love this. So I'm actually going to give her first dibs and option to buy it with a good discount. And we'll see um, from there, but I'm going to get it listed very soon. Really pretty. And um, oh, the last thing I wanted to show you is my sweatshirt that I'm, actually, that I'm wearing today. So this is a Boston Celtic sweatshirt. And everyone knows how much I love to wear black, um, but this is just black on black and it's the Celtics right here. And it's a uh, NBA um, brand and it has kind of a fun collar. It's hooded, it's adorable. It is a size large and I love it. I'm not like a huge Celtics fan. I'm more of a Red Sox fan, but I don't have, I realized I don't have any Celtics in my closet. I have Patriots, I have Red Sox. I don't have any Bruins, um, but now I'm gonna have the Celtic sweatshirt after I wear it a couple times because it's really cozy and I love it. Okay, that's it for my haul as far as uh, thrifting goes. I am going to move on and show you some of the things that I picked up yesterday. So I was, um, I went to Savers with my girlfriend and then we decided to go to um, Target to pick up like, you know, 75% off wrapping paper and see if there was anything cute in there. And right, I went to the back to where all the Christmas stuff was and there was this nice guy from the Starbucks department and he was loading the shelves with the tumblers. So I, I said, are these on sale? He's like, yeah, we figured we were going to try to put them back here with all the Christmas stuff instead of trying to move them up front. And I said, well, what's the discount? So he scanned it and they were 70% off. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never found Starbucks tumblers, like from Starbucks on sale. And I believe that I it was one of those right place at the right time because I think I bought 20 pieces. So I'm sure they're not there today, but um, if you happen to catch this video and go to your Target, I wish you luck. I hope they're there for you. They are not the super duper um, high demand ones, I don't think. So, um, just a, just a quick little rewind. I had purchased only two of the matte black. They almost look like studded matte black ones. If I can throw a picture up here, depending on time, I will show you. I'm not really into the whole Starbucks thing because I, I deal with clothing, as you know, but um, I'm like, I'm gonna just give these a try. So I know um, Thrift, to, uh, Thrift to Travel, if that's her handle. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know who she is, but she is the master. She literally goes to other countries to find like um, discontinued pharmacy products and uh, Starbucks stuff. That's like her thing. And she will travel far and wide, bring them back from trips and sell them at a great profit. So she's the one who kind of put the bug in all of our ears. And over the summer, we had those like cup color changing cups, which I missed that whole craze. Anyways, I picked up two black ones around Halloween they were said to be like hot ones. So I put them away, didn't really think about them. They were like 20 bucks each. And long story short, I went to sell them around Christmas time. They were everywhere and in all honesty, they were all listed between like 85 to $100. Um, and I was just in disbelief that anybody would ever pay that. So I listed mine at $79, 79. And um, both of them sold on Poshmark within three days because I was priced just below what the average person was. And I almost felt guilty charging that much, but I was actually less than most people. So I'm a little bit of a Starbucks believer. So when I saw these at such a discounted price, I couldn't say no. Now I spent $96 on all the things that I got. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll show you how much I got of each, but um, 
Again, I say this a lot with retail arbitrage. If you're gonna spend the money, if I'm gonna spend the money, whatever you do, I don't know. But for me, when I buy something retail arbitrage, I like to think in the back of my head, if it doesn't sell, if this isn't a big profit, I will use it. I will gift it to somebody. I will give it to someone. So I always have that in the back of my head and having an 18 year old daughter, every one of her friends always likes Starbucks or the mailman or a Christmas gift for a friend, a Starbucks tumbler with a $20 gift card. No one's going to be sad about that. I want to do a giveaway also um, for hitting 5,000 subscribers. I want to do it on Instagram to try to build my Instagram following. I can use a couple of these for that. So without further ado, I will show you. They're really just tumblers, but that was a very long intro on them. So I got four of these. These are the red glitter ones. Um, and these are marked, I think these are all marked $20. So what's this one? $18.95. $18.95. And I think these were like $5.70 or $5.99. So isn't that so great? Like this as a gift. So with this sparkle, it just says Starbucks here. I got four of the red ones. Also would make a great gift for Valentine's Day. Um, I got four of these green ones with the Starbucks siren. So the red ones don't have her on them, but the green ones do. Now, the ones that I think were like the really hot ones this season were the crystally ones. They were textured. Um, those were not on sale. I went up front. They almost have like a pink tinge. They're, they're red and silver. And what the associate says is that she thinks they're trying to extend those a little bit to Valentine's Day. So those were not on sale. So this same price, the $18.95 plus 70% off, I got four of those. This was actually my favorite. Um, and these were $17.95, but I, I, I saw a few of these. I saw one sell for like $50. I'm probably going to list these around $30, $30, $30. I don't know. I might hold on to them and not list them for a while. I'm not I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But this tumbler, I loved this one. This one's stainless. I'm into hot coffee. I feel like all the youngins like the cold cups. Um, but I loved this. It's like an ombre. It goes from red to pink. And it has this like little silver medallion. And there's the top. $17.95. These ring up as $5.40. I got five of these. My friend bought one. Um, so I got those. The only things that I didn't buy that they had available, and I don't know if that was a good decision or not, but I didn't get the ceramic stuff. I don't want to worry about ceramic stuff breaking in my inventory. They're heavy to ship. I don't think they're as valuable. I just passed on them. Like I, as it is, I spent $96, so I just had to draw the line somewhere. Oh, I bought this and I had actually bought one of these full price before. They only had one of these, so I purchased this. This is $22.95, so this is probably like $6.50 or something. But it has like pine cones on it and it's stainless. There's the top. I thought this was really unique and I actually bought one of these at full price at the beginning of the season thinking I would hold on to it. So now I have two of these. Um, probably won't list that for very for a bit. And then the last thing I bought, because I was on a roll, where I got the two bears. Now they had four of these guys and then they had little ones and they had the ornaments and whatnot. But... I got what I got. So these guys were marked $9.99. So, um, no, $9.99? No, these retail for $19. These retail for $20 each. So they were like $6. Um, so I bought them both. I might sell them together. They are the Barista Bear. They are the limited edition 2019 Starbucks Bears. So that's it. But it was really fun. I loved, I mean, I had like a whole cart full. So four of the red sparkles, four of the green sparkles, like five of the stainless ombre, one of these and two bears and a partridge in a pear tree. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. So looking forward to 2020. I'm excited about YouTube growth and sales. And as always, I really appreciate you all coming on my journey with me and for your continued support, my YouTube channel, and my Poshmark closet. Thank you so much. Happy 2020, everybody. Let's make this a great year. Have a great day.